Fossil fuels, more accurately known as fossil carbon, have not always been here. They were made over millions of years. Most of the world's fossil fuels, coal, oil, and natural gas, were formed during the Carboniferous period, about 300 million years ago, also known as the Age of the Reptiles. The Earth was very different than it is now, and was primarily oceans and swamps. The Carboniferous period led to the Permian, which ended in a mass extinction. The Triassic period also ended with a mass extinction, leading to the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods and the rise of the dinosaurs. We're all familiar with the extinction that wiped out the dinosaurs and led to the rise of mammals and us. And that's what brought us to where we are today, what scientists call the Holocene, which led to our species dominating the planet. All of this time as plants and animals were living and dying, fossil carbon was forming from this organic matter. Coal, oil, natural gas all became energy-rich materials, concentrating the sun's energy that gave rise to these life forms so many millions of years ago. All of these resources weren't doing much until people discovered ways to harness their energy, and that transformed civilization. And so began the Burning Age. As the first creatures to start burning fossil fuels, we have accomplished incredible things, but we have done so blind to their consequences. For the first time in Earth's history, millions of years worth of fossil fuels are being taken from their origins beneath the Earth's surface, burned, and released into our atmosphere. We are already suffering the health effects of this pollution, which choke many of our urban areas in chronic smog, Yet worse, the rapid pace at which we're burning fossil fuels is now acidifying our oceans and accelerating major changes to the Earth's climate. As our pollution traps more and more of the sun's heat, the Earth's temperature rises, with major consequences for all life on this planet. Never before has the Earth seen such a dramatic rise in carbon pollution caused by all of our burning. We know there have been benefits to burning fossil fuels, but the consequences have become too big to ignore. We are creating cities and a planet that could soon become unlivable if we continue on this path. But what are the alternatives? As human beings, we have been through many transformations before, always coming out stronger. Just as the Stone Age didn't end because we ran out of stones, the Burning Age won't end because we run out of fossil fuels. What we are entering into now is a new era that will transform human civilization once again, cleaning our air while saving our planet. We could call this the Age of Renewables. To get to this brighter era will take hard work, but the results will be worth it. In fact, the Age of Renewables is actually closer than many people might think. Rather than burning energy from concentrated sunlight that came millions of years ago, we now have an opportunity to harness that sunlight and other renewable sources directly, powering the modern world many times over. To slow climate change, clean our air, and save our oceans, we need to accelerate this transformation. Join us in our next video as we discuss the need to reach zero carbon as we build towards a clean energy future.